the test is tomorrow. So what we're going to do today is go over some questions that will be very similar to the ones on the test. But a little different. But, um, so get out a blank sheet of paper and try to answer all these. The first part, the first page up here is basically the postulate theorem questions. It's kind of mostly fill in the blank kind of stuff. No, number one is not a point. What two things intersect in a line? Two planes. Yes. Two planes. There's a point. One plane. A plane can't intersect itself. Oh, yeah, you're right. Or wait, no, yeah, what two? Oh, yeah, it's not a statement. You guys need to do one in a kind of a timely fashion because I need to scroll down to yeah, good. look at Number two, what kind of relationships are there between two lines? I will give you guys some points for a day, so it'll give you a little grade boost, not a big one, but mostly we need to know this for tomorrow, that's the more important thing. Hey, wait, with yeah, two, two planes, like the walls are planes and they meet at that line. a line. Okay, what kind of things do two or relationships are there between two lines that has points? Or has no. that How can two lines interact? Uh, intersecting. intersecting, there's two more. Parallel. Parallel. Oh, you guys need to know what those three things mean, too. Is there going to be questions like that on the test? Or is it just going to be math? You mean number two? Yeah. Or, or like these, like similar similar work these are very similar to that one. He, he yeah. looks at these guys and he writes the answer. Yeah. Like parallel answer. Parallel intersecting against people. Wait, where do we write that? Number two. I'm not good with definitions, I'm not good with that. Yeah, most of these are postulates and theorems, but that one's kind of a definition question. Okay, I'm going to scroll down. There. No way, I just gave you it. It was one bit. Another no, plane. It's two planes intersect a line. I was trying to what's it called? Take the eraser off. Sorry. This is kind of a fill in the blank one. Like finish the sentence problem. It was one this These are like two of our theorems. But it's kind of also a little bit common sense, so you might be able to figure out, even if you don't remember, what the theorem was. If two points are in a plane, then the line containing these points then the plane of planes, the line containing these points blank. What do we know about the line that contains those two points? You said what? Line the same. If uh, so, if this whiteboard is a plane, right, yeah. and we have two points on that plane, then what do I know about the line that's on that contains those two points? It's on a plane. It's on the same plane. Just the line too? No, the line. The line. The line that contain containing those points is also on the plane, or is on the same plane, or something like that. Man, I don't, if it's like this, then. This is just the first few questions we've checked. There's, we did lots of types of stuff. Don't you usually just write this out from the test? Like the I usually change it a little bit. Well, yeah, but like, like. Most of these questions are not exactly what's on the test. But it's what you're going to look to. Cool. Yeah, if you know how to do these, you should be pretty good. So on number three, we kind of skipped that one. Three non-collinear points are in one plane. Will, are you in deep meditation? <laughs> That's why you have caffeine. Wait. I think I should have come up there better. Yeah, you guys. Well, when you go to bed, you need to get off your 
phones or you won't fall asleep. No, phones don't help you fall asleep. I was talking and then I was talking. Yeah. 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 Okay, number five, a four. Oh, four. Uh, so four is what I was talking about right here. Yeah. If two points are in a plane, then the line that contains those points is it also in that plane. Something like that. Is in the same plane. Is in the same plane. Number five, a line and a blank, not on the line, are in exactly one plane. Point. Point. Yeah, because basically that's one of our theorems. You're gonna have three non-collinear points that can only fit one plane. All right, you guys ready for the next page? We good? Okay, I'm gonna pause a little bit. Six 
Except eight. Nine. Nine. You know. Yeah. Ooh, you sound like a... Wait, what's well, going on? Is there one or two answers? No. Neither. Both or don't answer? Don't answer. What? Okay. Shh. Okay. Alright. Right. Let's try. So, S1. Imagine in your head. What is S1? That's, that's all of this stuff. It goes all the way that way forever. What's S2? All this stuff. It goes this way forever. What's M? All that stuff in between. So when you combine those three together, what does it make? Plane. The plane P. Okay, no, like, because, okay, so the middle line is M, right? Yes. Then the side one of this, so say side one of that line over, and then plenty. side two, and the line down the middle is M, you combine them all together and it makes a plane. Yeah. Right? Yeah. So if I just combine the S2 with the M, then it would just be the side two of the plane. Yeah. But this means what's not that. That means like the little apostrophe. Yeah, apostrophe. Means what's not in this set? Okay, so what's not in this set? Then it's S1. Yes, it is S1. Oh, but that's so easy! Oh, that's so, that's so easy, that's easy. I got it. I understand it. Yeah, no, I understand it. I'm getting them right. Okay, 8 is the trick question, though. No, it's not. Herbert, you always say, I got it now. I got all three of those right. You got nothing. On my own. How did you get nothing? Well, because S1 and S2 okay. is It's a different symbol. It means, what do they have? S1 and S2 are both halves of the plane. Okay, S1 is all this. Yeah. S2 is all this. Yeah. What do they have in common? Nothing. They don't. The line, they do not share the line. The line is a separate thing. Wait. So if the, the end is there, then it means that you can't cross the line because there's like. They don't. That's the thing. So how do, what's the fancy way you're writing that? <laughs> so you know, line through it. Sure. And then like I'm going to go to a test and forget it all. Yep. No, that's easy. I'm not going to, I guarantee you what though, you're not going to get anything right on the side. That's not going to get anything right on the government test. I'll give this a hundred percent. I'll try my best. Yeah, just because you don't get everything right doesn't mean you can't get out. I do not know that. Okay, we got three more of those questions with the line here. Yep, easy. Okay, everybody's invited. Only exclusive. Only what they have in common. Everybody's invited. So you might draw the line and then try and trace what it, what we're using, like. Trace race CB. Hopefully you know what race CB means. Uh, let's see, CB and BA. No. Well, depending on what you mean, I guess. Okay, nine. So CB is your now. BA, why is it now? Bless you. Because it's BA, it's the red. Okay, so BA, that's a ray above it, right? Yeah, well, this means the B is not included. It's called a half line, but yeah, it's like a ray, yes. Then it actually is sort of A. No, it starts at B. Wait, you've got to reach out. It starts at B, but it just doesn't include B. Okay. It's like saying he's, I've got more than $3. Then that means I've got, it starts at 3, but it doesn't include So does three. the other one, the CB, start at C? Yeah. And whenever it goes off the line, does it just go back so it would go to C to A? I'll let you no, these arrows mean infinite. It goes forever in that direction. You can't Why draw. is it going that way if B is on the opposite of C? Oh, you, so this is the starting point. Yeah. This is the direction. But see, do you see the meaning? This is the oh, point. that's just the label on the top. Yeah. yeah. We should be going to lunch right after this class. They should have the audacity they have. So, we must be going to eat. So, it's C. I am starting. 
Well, I'm appalled. Okay, let's see how you guys did on the first one. Nice. So, C, Ray CB starts at C, goes this way forever. Right? Let me think. Okay. This is called a half line. It's like a ray, but it doesn't include B. Ray or half line BA starts there and goes forever. Because it's a union, that means everybody's invited. So what are we going to use? They're both going to the left. A. Okay, that's not the answer. Or A. Yeah, they're A. They have a lot more than A in common. A is just a single point. But we're not using what they have in common. Okay. We're not using what they have in common. We're using everybody. Everything. A, B, C. Okay. And we're not using points. We're talking about all of them. Line. Is it line AC? Line no. AB. Why is it? Okay. <laughs> Why is it not the line? Because of the. Uh, We're not. No. Uh, Nobody has this stuff. Not the plane, not the race. Okay. But together, they both have all this stuff. They have all that. They don't all have that. that. We're combining both. We're using both of them. So at least one of them is back here, right? So really that all that so what's this thing called? Ray C A. Ray C A. Oh, or I Ray because it's going it. that way. Ray because it goes starts at a point and goes forever. It goes forever. But but those are the or it could also be called Ray C D. Those are the same thing. Yeah, no, no but we're only we're only oh, numbers are going in the same direction, correct? But I said no. Ray. Why? You just said C A. No, I said Ray. Oh, oh, oh. Like I said it here. Okay, that's fine. I only heard Siri. Wow. Don't worry, something more. I did it. You, you made me clinch in my life. Well, I question. I question whether you said Ray. I question. I question. Okay, this one is only what they have in common. What do they share? B. Wait, why is that one the. Oh, I hate this. Why is that one the only one they have in common? Because you see the symbol? Oh. So you see how it's like closed off? Yeah. So this is like only VIPs. So only what they both have. Yeah. <laughs> this is welcoming. Everybody's invited. Okay. So, so, that one was hard to It's that one B. I need to kind of erase my uh, marks. So I'm gonna back up. Oops. Okay, here we go again. Ready? Ray A B. You guys have that in your head? No. That's Ray A B. Ray C B. Got that in your head? Okay. Some of that they, sh some of that stuff that I line, just put a line on, they share. What is it? A B C A C. Okay. Right. You don't call it ABC because we're not just talking about points. We're talking about a. What are we talking about? Line. A. No. Ray. No. no. They only have. Segment. Segment. Right. From here to here, that's a line segment. So it's segment. What? AC. AC. So the segment is just a line, right? Yeah. Oh, I remember that. You just get rid of the B. So you only use two letters to name a ray, a line, a segment. You only use two letters. Okay, 11. Let me back up again. Okay. Ray, B, A. Looks like that. And half line, B, C. Looks like that, right? Okay, but this is a union, so everybody's invited. So what's, if we combine everybody, what do we have? Goes forever that way, forever that way, it's a whole line. That's a whole line, that's everything. So line AC. Line AC. It's line AC because, yep. Everything's, we're using everything, everything's covered. 
Why do the line most? Oh, because they're still going because it's a red. No, it's yeah, a it goes line. forever. Yeah, no, it's because it's He's saying it because oh, they're red, yeah. it goes forever in yeah. both directions. Okay, no more questions do we have? A lot. Uh, How, what time are we get out of here? 35? Um, 35, yeah. Oh, I think we're okay. We're okay. Okay. You have to have this memorized. You, let's go through the prefixes. Well, what's a three sided polygon? Triangle, four sides. Square. No. Quadrilateral. Five. Pentagon. Six. Hexa. Octagon. Hepta. Okay, this is the one people forget. And guess how many sides this has? Seven. So I don't know what, if that's the one on the test or not. I didn't actually count the one on the test. I can't remember but nine. if we can't remember seven, we need to remember seven. Nine is not a um, It is a hepta. Eight is octa. Nine is nana. Sounds like nine. Nine gone. Nine gone. Not nine. Nine. It's like you can't pronounce it correctly. Okay, also, so actually let me read the directions. Where did I put the text at? Okay, here's what the directions say. If the figure is a polygon, classify it according to its number of sides. That's what we just talked about. And state whether it is concave or convex. Oh, that's fine. No, not convex. Concave one, two. Okay, does it have a K? No, it's not. No. Oh, so it's convex. Um, oh, yeah. And it says, if it is not a polygon, explain why. Okay, is 13 a polygon? No, no. it crosses the lines cross. Because the, yeah, the intersecting lines. Um, so what is it? Or no, no, it's just not. It doesn't have a name, it's just not. I mean, concave. Wait, are we? It is concave. Are we on 12? 13. Well, we just talked about 12. We're not uh, talking about 13. So 12, like 12 is a convex heptagon. Or heptagon, comma, convex. 13 is not a polygon because. Crosses it crosses itself or it has intersections. It, it is not. It is concave. <coughs> Yes. 13 is concave yes. also. Do we classify um, 15, 16, 17? 15, 16, 17, 15, you remember how we did it on the homework? That's what it's going to say. So, on 14, how many sides does this have? It's five. It's a pentagon. Five is a pentagon. Concave. And, and it is concave. It has a big cave. See, I got this stuff. It's a shape. Okay. Remember that we have cones and pyramids. You guys remember talking about that the other day? That was this week, actually. Cones and pyramids and cylinders and prisms. Remember that? Based on what shape it took. And then besides that, we also had what they called polyhedra. But does anybody remember, probably not, what a four-sided polyhedron? Tetrahedron. Tetra oh, wow, you guys do remember. Tetrahedron. Like so that was the only prefix that was different. What's a five-sided polyhedron called? Pentahedron. So it shares the same as the polygon. A six-sided is a hexahedron, and so on. So all the prefixes are the same, except for the four-sided is called a tetrahedron. So, the direction for 15, I'm just going to read it off the test. Classify each cone or cylinder with the most specific designation possible. And as a polyhedron, if possible. If it has flat surfaces, like flat edges, you're going to have to name it two different ways. That's what they mean. What is this thing? Okay, it's a pyramid. What kind of pyramid? Triangular. triangular. You name it off of the base. The base is a triangle, so it's a triangular pyramid.
but it's also a polyhedron based on the number of sides. How many sides does it have? Four. 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 One, two, three, four. Uh, you count the base as The base counts as one, one of the sides. So this is a tetrahedron also. It's got two answers. If it does not have flat <coughs> surfaces like 17, it is not a polyhedron. So this only has 17 only has one answer. What is 17? A cone. A cone. Uh, the book would be, the book would write circular cone. I don't really care. Wait, what about 16? Care about that. Well, yeah, we're going to do it. Try 16 on your own if you can. Oh. 16. It's a pen. Pentagon. Pentagon is one of these things. Pentagon. If it's three dimensions. Pentagon. No. Nope. Nope. Wouldn't it be a pen? Pen? No. Oh, I can't remember. Starts with an H. Pentagon. Penta. Oh, pentagon. Pen so the pentagon. Okay, 16 has five sides, so it's a pentahedron, but it's also something else. What's it called when you have the same shape on the front, back, or top, and bottom? Prism. Prism. Well, yeah, it's called a cylinder. It's got straight edges. It's called a prism. What kind of prism is this? So it's a triangular prism and a pentahedron. It's a triangular prism and a pentahedron. I have a question. What? What do we put for 15? 15? Yeah. Triangular pyramid. Polyhedron, pentahedron. Not a polyhedron. Polyhedron oh, is yeah, what they're called in general. But this, a, this is a tetrahedron here. Yeah. Tetrahedron is four. Like, you know how tetras, <coughs> those tetra speech pieces, they only have four. They're made of four blocks. Well, tetra can be four. I play tetra for many, many rounds. Mr. Jordan, I forgot how you tell the tetra around the table. Pyramids always come up to a point. Like the Egyptian pyramids, <coughs> prisms look more like they're, they're the, the bases are the same on top and bottom, so they're more look more like buildings, I guess. Like see how these two are the same? They don't come up to a point. Parallel. They have two parallel, identical bases. Okay, are we ready for the next page? Yeah. yeah. Okay, this is the algebra stuff. Uh -oh. Uh -oh. We're supposed to find AB and BC. And here's what we know. Well, we know this. This goes with that. This goes with that. But we also know that AC is 59. Oh, Right. And then you do it. What do I know about this? these little things and the whole thing? They're equal. They're the same. So if you, these two little things should add up to the total, right? This length plus this length equals this length. So that plus that equals that. If you just write that down, you've already got half credit right there. Let's go. Wait. I got half credit. You got half credit. Now let's get full credit. So, what's the first? You distribute the problem. Distribute the problem. I'm going to fail on this part. I know. Yeah. Don't give up. Don't give up. Don't give up. It's just not possible, Mr. Jordan. You, you do you know how to do the parentheses on this? No. Yes, you just multiply. Just multiply. Five times x. Five. Can you write down the properties first? Five times two. Six times x. Six times minus one. Just do that, and then do that, and then do 5x plus 10 plus okay. 6x. One of the rules in algebra is you can only add like terms together. So you can only add 5x with 6x. Okay, so we're adding that right now. <laughs> yeah. We're making the problem simpler. And you can add the normal numbers, plus 10 and minus 6. 10 minus 6 is 4, so that would be 4. And now we 
got it to a basic problem. So you, does it matter if you do the X's before the other ones? Like if you add these together first or these yeah. together first? No, you can still get the same thing. Okay, so it would just be 4 plus 11 X. I don't know. Is that the answer for the next? No. No. And the X is not the answer either. We just need to find X to get to the answer. Now, I'm really confused on what we do here. So you divide. Okay, you subtract 4. It's a basic algebra equation. You get rid of the plus first, and then you get rid of the times. So you minus 4. Minus 4. Then you get on and you divide by yeah. five. Well, I don't think that x equals 55. Right. X is and then don't you divide one by 55. Yeah, divide 11. Equals 5. By both sides, so it's x equals 5. Is that it? Oh, now you can plug it in. Okay, no. The question was so if you got to this point, you've got all but like one or two points. The question was, find A, B. So how do I find out how long that is? I put the 11 right there and figure out what it is. So what's 11 plus 2 times 5? 65. Okay. I've been putting in random numbers. Okay. BC. Um, what if, okay, BC is same thing. 11 minus 1 times 6. Wait, was the answer five? <coughs> yeah. Oh. Yeah. Okay. I just erased. Sorry. That's not it's this. Twenty-seven. So it's five plus two times five. Twenty-seven. Thirty-five. Five plus two is seven times five is thirty-five. Yeah, it's thirty-five. What did I do wrong? Thirty-five. Five minus one is four. Six times four is twenty-one or twenty-four. Now we're done. No. With that one. That was too bad. That was right. Like, as long as I can, yeah. like, you should, you know, you should, yeah. press, you should just put, like, the actual, like, how we just did that, but we had to make the problem by putting the 5x2 plus, or, or x plus 2 plus 6 parentheses x minus 1 equals 59. You should write those on the board so we don't have to, like, find out how to put those together. Okay. All the, all that means, look, Trevor. All that's saying is this, we know this plus this equals this, right? That's where this equation came from. This plus this equals this. And if it gives And they us, told us what AC was. They just if told they us give us problem. what AC is, then we put equals and then Yeah, those two little ones should always have this big Will they always give us AC or no? Well, on some of the problems we did on the homework, they said B is in the middle. Oh, so, and then okay. we just said that equals that. But on this, on this problem, they just gave us the total. So we said that plus that equals the total. Isn't that where you subtract from equal? Yeah, if they're equal to each other, you just have to like multiply it out and then subtract 5x on both sides. Yeah. Okay. Do we have another one? Yeah, we got two more pages. Yeah, see that? Oh. We're doing okay on time. We got about nine minutes. Oh. Left. Okay. What do I know? It's 108. By the way, it, I didn't write the question, but we're supposed to find all three angles. They all equal 180. Okay. Gracie said they all equal 180. What do you mean, Gracie? All together. The straight line is <laughs> Okay. Yeah. Anytime you see a straight line like that, that's automatically 180 degrees. So these three things should add up to 180. And if you write that down, I'll give you half credit right there. So that way, if you screw up on the algebra part, you still get at least half. So 2x minus 1. No, the protractor wouldn't be accurate. They don't draw the pictures perfectly. They just, if you use a protractor, you get it wrong. Are you just adding them all? Yeah. I know that all three angles have to add up to 180. Do you know how I know that? Because oh, it makes a straight line. Well, it's 360. Okay, we can make this a lot simpler, right? 2x plus 3x plus 1x. 6x. 6x. 2 plus 3 plus 1. And then you add 6x. 6x. And I see a minus 1 and a plus 2 and a plus 5. 
which is also the same. So, That's it? That's it? 